It's not uncommon for robotics engineers and vehicle creators to draw inspiration from the biomechanics of the animal kingdom. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing a handful of creations that do exactly this by drawing inspiration from various animals and um, turn them into certain types of vehicles or I don't know, they might not even be vehicles. They might just be interesting replicas of animal mechanics and stuff. And this one is a shrimp mech. So this is a shrimp inspired mech drone of sorts with a can. A, a backpack mounted cannon of course and it has some awesome uh flexing mechanics in this thing as you tilt forward and backwards too and i don't know if you noticed but the little leg there's little tiny legs that are actually they're they're waving back and forth on the sides of the seat and everything but i just love it i love the aesthetic of it despite being pretty simplistic in its uh shape it actually has a somewhat of a realism aspect to it let me see if i can actually drive this thing over and hit something here the backpack mounted cannon is a little bit awkward to aim but uh, i want to try to hit this sign this sign over on this this cannon over here it says big fat uh big fat square cannon or something <laughs> all right it's gonna be it's hard to aim this all right hold on i gotta lean forward i guess is it really that hard if i'm getting this close to the sign <laughs> there we go nailed it 100 percent accuracy easy to easy to control actually it's not it's looking not too bad when you tilt forward it pretty much aims like right where you're looking that's pretty good actually that's not bad at all. And then look, we can do uh, we can do somersaults in the air and everything. So that was the shrimp mech by Mounted Unit. Great start to the video. Let's see what other animal inspired creations we're gonna be seeing today. Going in for a landing. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Up next, we got, it's, look, it's moving on its own. Man, I, I have not tested any of these creations out. So you're seeing my first reaction to some of these. Oh, oh, those teeth are so good. Those are really cleverly built out of two separate pieces there. This thing's awesome. So this is the Vampire Spider by Epic Doodle. I don't know what it's gonna do. Okay, it can actually walk. It's like, wait, there must be some thruster assistance to that, right? There's no way that that's actual walking mechanics doing that. It's like sliding across, there, ha there, ha there has to be thruster assistance in here. All right, we can turn as well. All right, spate. Oh, no way. Oh, when the spiders can fly, it's all over. It is definitely all over now. This is ridiculous. It's kind of like, though, we're hanging from a web. This is really cool looking and creepy at the same time. I can go up and, oh, and I, I have a magnet. I can lift stuff up as well. Look at me. I am lowering myself into the carrier. I can kind of flip myself over in the air by activating uh, gimbals that are in the body instead of the butt. All right, there's uh, there's some other buttons here I haven't pressed yet. Oh, there it is. What? It's a snowball launcher? I guess it, it's like a web ball. It's the closest thing to like a ball of web, I suppose. That actually kind of does make sense. I like that. Oh, they're egg sacks. That makes sense. We're launching egg sacks. All right. So apparently uh, if we use the shift button, we could actually pretty much wall climb. If we had a wall, let's get over to a wall. I, it, we're, we're a spider. We should be able to climb up walls. We press shift, we should be able to get up onto the wall. And look at that, we're a spider. We're climbing up. This is really awesome, actually. <laughs> this is working really, really well. Like, really, really well. Look at it, this is probably like the most realistic spider walker thing I've seen. All right, I think if I want to go down now, I got to switch, got to switch to the butt thruster mode. <laughs> Hold on a second, let me turn around here. All right, there we go. Oh, 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 I think I did it wrong. This is such like a familiar sight to me. Like just seeing that one spider hanging in the middle of the room off of a thread, just slowly lowering itself down. But I think, there we go. I can actually orient myself pretty well. This thing has some surprisingly easy and simple controls. Well, there you go. Probably one of the more creepy and realistic spider mechs you'll see today. Good job on the vampire spider, Epic Doodle. Well then, I guess while we're here, Epic Doodle has another create. Oh, this is another wall climber too. A giant centipede. Does it, Epic Doodle? Do you got uh, you got some type of fascination with insects? Creepy insects? Oh man. All right, this thing's even better than I thought it was going to be. This is so cool. So this is actually there's actually wheels on this thing, which. They're monster truck wheels, which makes it look even more epic, but apparently this is a wall climber too, so we're already in the perfect spot to try this out. 
Let's see how this thing does. We can see uh, a bunch of the hover pads sticking out of each body segment. They're going to help us with the wall climbing, and it seems to be working pretty much perfectly right now. Uh oh, except our head. Oh, no, we're falling off. Hold on, hold on. Calm down. Calm down. Might have to back up. Can we back up? Just barely. Come on, back up. Oh, no. Maybe it wasn't meant for complete vertical wall climbing, but we're no, we're getting there. We're back on. We're back on track. We are back on track for the wall climbing. For some, re for some reason, my head lifted off and it seemed to ruin everything. But now my head's back on the wall and I think we're doing okay. Man, look at that. The, 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 the design choices are really, really clever on these. Uh oh, we're falling off again. We're falling off again. <laughs> All right, great. Now we're a flying centipede, another nightmare. <laughs> this is not something you would ever want to see. Oh, no, we've, uh, we've attached ourselves back to the wall, but we've lost most of our legs. I think, I think we might need to quit while we're not ahead anymore. Now we are the origami folding centipede that also flies. <laughs> there's something unsettling about this. I mean, there's pretty much always gonna be something unsettling about giant insect inspired vehicles. And I think this giant monster truck wall climbing centipede is definitely no exception to that. All right, up next by Heyo, it's Mayo. We are taking it underwater with apparently a performing orca. So uh, I'm assuming that we're, we're intended to jump out of the water and do some tricks and stuff, but I just want to get the controls first. So look at that. We can turn left and right. We can uh, roll left and right with the pectoral fins there. Uh, so let's see how this thing does. Why am I sparking? Whee! <laughs> you know, it's kind of... It was a little bit underwhelming, but at the same time, it also felt pretty, it feels pretty realistic. All right, here we go. Eh. Yeah, now we've got some before. Okay, now definitely lost the realism aspect, but it's increased the fun aspect. Oh, you can give even more of a realism aspect if you just go up and down while you're going forward underwater. That looks so good. I gotta admit, I always do have an appreciation when um, when creators get the waving bodies of underwater sea animals right. Like, this looks really good. All right, time to move on. Right, while we're in the water, we have animatronic sea turtle version 2 by Scarzers. Wait, it swims, walks, and drives? What? This is an all-terrain sea turtle? All right, hold on a second here. Oh, it does actually have wheels. Okay. Oh, look at the... Wait, no way. Oh, that is clever. When you press A and D, there are some underwater propellers that are activating on either side and it propels each side forward as you do it. So you actually have to like swim back and forth in order to do this. That's really cool. Oh, never mind. Okay, space also. Okay, My, I, I was mistaken. It's still pretty cool. I actually kind of like that mechanic, but that's not how it was intended. When you hold down space, it just goes forward. So now we're just, uh, we're just floating on the water here. I'm assuming I can go down. Oh, there we go. I've just lowered the buoyancy. So now we are swimming. We are a swimming sea turtle. I can raise the buoyancy like that. Supposedly the head hides too. Oh, there we go. Oh, now it looks even more realistic. Now we got the fins going. Okay. All right. I'm figuring it out. Okay. And then I think the arrows. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's actually really nice. I like that. That's cute. And the head comes back out. All right, we can be scared turtle. We can be confident turtle. Look at this view here. All right, we got to test this thing out on the land, though. Apparently, it, it walks and drives. I'm assuming the walking is just driving with the walking animation, though. Yeah, there we go. Oh, my goodness. This thing is fast on land. This doesn't feel right. <laughs> it does not feel natural. Oh, wait a minute. Does it actually walk? I was wrong. It actually walks, too. If you don't do anything, it's really, really slow. <laughs> But it does walk itself across the land using the walking animation, which is pretty cool. So if I turn that off, I can just drive. I can just go ahead and drive across the ground. No way is this going to work. This isn't going to work, is it? We're not going nearly fast enough. Imagine, though. Imagine. Imagine. All right. You know what? He didn't believe in himself. Didn't imagine enough. All right. We all know that sea turtles are supposed to be high on defense. How's a shell going to... Oh, I'm actually impressed. The shell... A lot of protection with the shell there. I mean, he lost his head, but I'm alive. I guess you can see now where I am. I'm the little seat inside the uh, inside the shell, and I've been protected. All right, I think it's time to move on to another creation. We're back on the land, so... Oh, this is also by Scarzers. 
Apparently, there's only a select few creators that are really focusing on animal-based creation. So this is the Bionic Praying Mantis. It flies, it attacks, and it looks pretty. All right, check this thing out. Looks like it is ready to attack. <laughs> He's like, yes, yes, I am ready to attack. You will not make it out alive. <laughs> Let me see. Oh my goodness. Look at the wings open up and everything. All right, apparently it flies better after attacking though. Oh, is that the attack? Oh, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Oh, all right, we're going up. We're going up and we're flying. <laughs> is that how it flies? It flaps its little wings in the back there, just like that. I mean, the flying, it's not that bad. It is hard to kind of control myself though. Hold on, wait, what about T? What is this mode? <laughs> what is this mode right here? What are you doing with your legs? All right, let's go back into its normal pose. There we go. I think I can come in for a nice landing. Guess time will tell. Hold on. Hold on. Nice and gentle. Nice. And... Oh, look at that. Hey, we didn't even get broken at all. Well, there you go. If you ever wondered what a praying mantis flying vehicle looks like, uh, this is, this is it right here. <laughs> Let's move on to another one. All right. Well, this one looks interesting. This is, uh, Shriga's Pet Bat by Shriga. So, this is a really... Whoa, this thing is super stable. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on here? All right, hold on. Oh, here we go. We're lifting up now. Man, this thing auto-stabilizes so much. Oh, boy. Okay, apparently that's how you go forward or tilt down. Whoa! This is like a, this is like a Star Wars bat or something. Oh, here we go. All right, we're going forward now. Wow, this is, this is really unique looking. It's losing altitude. Why am I losing altitude, though? Uh-oh. <laughs> hold on. I gotta see how this thing is auto-balancing. There's not a lot of space in here. So, uh-oh. Oh! oh ooh. <laughs> gotta watch where you're flying, scrap man. Right, I guess when I'm flying this thing, I'd actually be Batman, huh? All right, so I've uncovered some of the back here, and you can see a lot of auto-stabilization happening. There's happening, like, right in here. These things are spinning. We got two servos there, and we got two servos here for the roll. So there must be some angle sensors like built in right over here. Yeah, here we go. Here's an angle sensor. Oh, we even got even more servos in there. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff really packed in here in a really efficient way. I'm surprised at how small of an area he was able to pack in all of this auto stabilization and stuff. All right, and then up last here, also by Mounted Units, an underwater Chinese Dragon 2.0. Let's go ahead and take this thing under. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. Hold on a second here. Gotta get used to the- I don't know what the controls are yet. Alright, I know how to go down. <laughs> that looks pretty cool though, doesn't it? Okay, well strangely enough, I don't know why this is, <laughs> but it only goes like this. The propellers are hooked into W and S, which is just forwards and back, but if I go forward, this is all I can do. And I have the number one which uh, makes the tail do this cool thing. But then that also, it, it, it makes me experience so much more drag for some reason. It's, it's really weird how that little change completely changes how this thing, how the tail is able to go through the water. But yeah, I don't know if this was the intent of this thing, was for it to just go around in loops like this. The only reason why it's doing that is just because all of these uh, underwater propellers are above the center of mass. So if I do something like this, now we might actually go up instead. Oh, and not only that, but the head is programmed to go up and down as well. So having the thrust on the head, you know, you know what needs to happen? Actually, you know what? You know what the problem is? These should just be on space, space and control. And now the head can actually determine where it goes. Look at that. Perfect. Now all I got to do is turn the head and I can go up and down at will. There we go. Yeah, this feels much more dragon-like. Oh, let me do the tail. See how the tail feels now. Yeah, oh man, that adds so much drag. Look at that difference. Watch when I open up the tail. I'm at 21 kilometers an hour and then I open up the tail. And then I go like immediately up to 35. Yeah, up to like 35, 36. Ready to then close the tail. And then down to 25. That's crazy. Wow, oh man, look at those particles. Those particles look new to me. I don't remember seeing particles that look like that. Or is that because we're underwater? Did the particles just look different underwater? Well, there we go though. We got to have a little bit of fun actually uh, making a slight change to add a simple improvement to this thing. I was surprised at how easy it was to just make this thing kind of more fully functional. All right, well, I think that's gonna wrap up these awesome animal creations. Which one of these animal creations was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. And if there's any other types of uh, stuff you'd like to see from the Trailmakers Workshop, 
Let me know what themes you'd like to see. If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.